pork belly burnt ends, and smoked baked beans. I'm Greg from Stewie's Barbecue, and let me show you how it's done. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Stewie's Barbecue. I've got two recipes for you today, but before we get started, I just want to thank everyone who tuned in to the last episode and left comments and suggestions and feedback. I really appreciate it. I'm new to this. I am not a pro at all. So all the feedback, everything I'm getting is going to help make my videos better. So I really, really appreciate that. Uh, so let's get on to the recipe. First of all, I've got some pork belly burnt ends today and we're going to do baked beans on the side. Now, let me know in the comment section if you'd like to only see one recipe at a time. I was thinking more that I would try to do maybe two recipes when I can to give you something to serve with like a thing like pork belly burnt ends. Or if you'd just rather see one recipe, if two is too much, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm interested to know. All right, so let's get going. We're gonna start with the pork belly burnt ends. It's the longer of the two cooks. The baked beans takes a little less time. So uh, let's cue the musical montage while I cube these up. I'm gonna slather them in mustard and get the uh, rub on them. So let's get to that right now. All right, I'm all finished. I've got everything on a wire rack with a pan underneath. The reason why I'm doing that is I want the grease to be able to drip down on the pan and not into my smoker. Easier for cleanup, a lot less mess. I highly recommend that route. On top of that, the other reason is I don't want it cooking in its own fat. I don't want to lose any of the seasoning. I need this seasoning to adhere because when we're done, the first portion of this, I need to put it in here and it's going to be floating in a lot of barbecue sauce. Um, some brown sugar and other things, and I'm gonna lose my rub if it's not really adhered well to the pork. So this is going on right now, as is on the smoker, 300 degrees with apple pellets for about an hour and a half. At the hour and a half mark, I'm gonna check it, make sure that that rub is adhered, it's on there well, and then we'll do step two of the process. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go put this on and then let's get to the beans recipe. All right, it's time to make the beans. So first things first, I've got three cans of beans in here. I put them into a strainer, left them for about 10, 15 minutes, let all the liquid drain out and then put them into here. And then let's go through the rest of the recipe. So I've got one green pepper diced. It's a medium size. Let's dump that in. One medium sized onion diced. I smoked some bacon this morning. This is half a pack of bacon, all chopped up. One cup of brown sugar. A quarter cup of Texas pepper jelly of your choice. I've got the apple cherry habanero. And one and a half bottles of barbecue sauce. Now you can use whatever you'd like. I'm going with a maple bacon flavor today. So this is a maple brown flavor. The bacon's gonna give me my bacon flavor. So I'm gonna dump in a bottle and a half of this. All right, so I've mixed it all around. It's ready to go. The pork belly burn ends have been on for about 30 minutes, so it's time to put these on. These are going to go on for three hours, obviously at the same temperature. If you like less liquid in your beans, you want to do about four to five hours. I do like liquid in my beans, so I'm only going to do three hours. People have asked me in the past about my beans, should you stir them? It's up to you. I don't because I don't like losing the heat from my smoker. So I don't stir them. I just stir them at the end when they're all done. But if you want to stir them, I would suggest maybe every hour. Otherwise, um, just leave them alone. They'll be fine. All right, so let's get these on the smoker. And when we hit the hour and a half mark for the pork belly bird tens, we'll do the second part of that. All right, so it's been an hour and a half. Everything is good. The seasoning has adhered. The rub is really good. It's not coming off. It's time to put these and on for the next section, which is in this tin, and we're gonna add some stuff to it. So first of all, I've got some brown sugar. I'm not gonna add very much brown sugar. will burn if you put too much on it. So we're just gonna sprinkle gently over top. Just a couple of sprinkles will do. And that's good. 
Next, I'm gonna put in a more so pepper jelly that we used on the beans, and I'm gonna pop it on here. And we're not gonna to use too much. I don't wanna change the flavor of this, just to give it a little bit of bite. That's good enough. And we're gonna go with a full cup of barbecue sauce. I'm using this Kinder from, uh, I picked up at Costco. Uh, it's really good stuff. It's a nice honey hot. It's going to go with our honey rub. That's great. And then now I'm going to mix it around. And last, we're going to put one stick of butter on here as well. And optional, if you want, you could add more rub at this point but I've got enough on and I don't really need any more. So I'm just going to leave it. Okay. So this is going to go back on for two more hours and then I'm going to check it for probe tenderness. If it's good, then I'll take it off and it'll be ready to serve. So let's get it back on the queue. All right, so the beans took three hours, just like I said, they're perfect, I've tasted them. I don't need to taste them on camera, I've made these a hundred times. They're maple, bacon flavor, they're beautiful, tender, they're fantastic. The pork belly burnt ends were three and a half hours uh, and they are like literally falling apart. They are beautiful. I got a little extra barbecue sauce here. I like to put a little extra on when I'm done, but let's just take a look at this one. Like it's just breaking in half, like I can just squish it and let's give her a taste test. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Oh, I'm still a little bit hot, but it's tender, it's delicious. The flavor is amazing. That barbecue sauce is really good. The rub is really good. This turned out well. Looks like I got a visitor for some food here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notifications button if you want to know when I drop a new video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one and thanks so much.